Hi, all. Welcome, welcome. Uh, my name is Wendy Ahrens. I am the director for the Center for the Arts and Society. And I want to start by thanking our partners who helped us program this event this evening. First of all, Harrison, Apple, Nick Ross, Bill Rogers, Anastasia of the Studio for Creative Inquiry for all the work that they've done to welcome us into the space. Um, they help. They set up the room, they help with the catering, they're amazing. Uh, we love doing events here. Um, in addition, I want to thank our co-sponsors, um, which are the Humanity Scholars Program and the Sustainability Initiative. Thank you, Alex Hineker is in the room here, thank you so much. Um, and last but not least, I want to acknowledge uh, the person who made the delicious food that you are enjoying right now. Um, it's been prepared by Khalil Ahmad of Aria Restaurant. Can you stand up please, Khalil, so everyone can thank you. Um, and along with who, and he, along with his wife Parinam and his daughter Roya, they prepare food from Persia, Afghanistan, Iran, and Turkey um, at their restaurant on Melwood. And their uh, flyers are in the back. Take a photo as you walk out and give them your business because they make amazing food. Um, so, I want to say a little bit about the Center for the Arts and Society. We are a faculty research center that is dedicated to the exploration of the arts as they relate to and involve the larger society. And tonight's event is part of an ongoing project that CAS has been involved in to help integrate and welcome scholars at risk into our community. Um, we have, uh, as many of you know, there are three people right now as part of the uh, CMU community, Anwar Rahmani, Reem al Ghazi and Habib Sarosh, who are all sort of part of the Scholars at Risk network. Um, and for the last two years, we've been programming several of these Afghan dinner and a movie events that have been curated by visiting research professor in Afghan cinema and theater, Habib Sarosh, who's right here. Um, and he was brought to CMU through the Scholars at Risk program. And I'm extremely pleased to be able to announce tonight um, that thanks to generous support from the provost, CMU is actually establishing ongoing support for artists and scholars at risk um, with uh, plans to sponsor one new artist each year um, to come to CMU to work and pursue their creative or scholarly activities in a safe and supportive environment. And this program is new. It's just been sort of officially launched. There's a, the, there's a website, uh, and it's part of the CAS website. Um, so we're open for nominations as well as self-nominations right now. So if you're a faculty member here at CMU or a member of our community and you're interested in nominating and mentoring an artist or scholar at risk, or if you're somebody from our community who knows of a scholar at risk who's looking for a safe haven, please go to the Center for the Arts and the Web, uh, in Society website, click on the ASAR link, um, and you'll find more information there. Um, uh, this is also being sort of uh, administered by the uh, Vice President for Global and Strategic Initiatives, and Roger Turner, who is back there, can you stand up, Roger, is also here tonight, and if you want to buttonhole Roger or myself after the event. If you want more information about it, I'm, I'm, I'm volunteering Roger to help out here. <laughs> he didn't know I was going to spring that on him. Um, so uh, in any case, we're very, very excited about this. Um, it's, a, it's a really fantastic program, and it's a wonderful thing that the institution is putting such full-throated support behind this. Thank you so much for joining us today. Right now, come in. Miss uh, Ria Sadat and Professor Dildar. If anyone has any questions, we are ready to answer them. Um, I think I have two questions. The first one is, um, are the actors actress from the area and what was their situation after filming this? Did they have, like, did filming, taking part of the, in the film have an impact on their life? Um, and the question is, how has the situation for women evolved, or maybe not evolved, how has situation changed for women in the country now that the political dynamics has changed? Okay, thank you. Can you say it again, Lara? Oh, yeah. Um, uh, the first question is, I'm curious about um, what was the situation for the actors, uh, actress? I'm not well, sorry. I want to say it. Thank you. Um, 
What's the situation for the actress now that they participate and um, does it have an impact on their careers or even their safety? Another question is, how has the situation for women changes in the country now that the political dynamics has changed? Okay, uh, thank you. First of all, thanks uh, Osad Suruj, uh, Wendy and wonderful team from university. Thank you to having us. Um, actually, it's really hard to talk after this movies about uh, uh, current situation. Um, of course, this film was during the um, Republic in Afghanistan. Uh, we produced uh, 2017. And uh, that time, of course, we was full of hope and we think that this, we try to bring some change for our society. And this kind of history, like you see in the story, this is a kind of facing the tradition life, but modern life, and many things are all around very complicated society. Um, and we had a critical looks for our society with this movie. And of course, we, we was thinking that everything's going to change. But right now, the situation is terrible because uh, 2021, August of 2021, uh, Taliban, they came uh, in power in Afghanistan, and uh, the situation is like, the, the women is like in, in inside of the open prison. They didn't have even the basic rights. Um, they banned the school, you hearing from news at what what's going on in Afghanistan. Um, so uh, honestly, it is, uh, maybe about two years that I don't want to watch this movie uh, or many other movies that we produced during that 20 years. Um, it's because sometimes you, you lost yourself, you don't know, like, uh, even we don't have the situation that we had a critical look for that. Yes. And you asking about the characters. Um, uh, of course, this, you know, um, we start after, I, I think when I started my first movie, it was 23. And um, after four decade war in Afghanistan, we, we again start with culture, with cinema, with art. Um, so the, the um, special situation for women artists, with uh, for women actresses um, was very difficult for them to, special for their family to accept they came and play a role. Um, so many of them, they had different, of course, different problems, uh, different challenge for um, their life. And this movie is basic on uh, true events. I, I had a, um, uh, first I study law faculty. I had a research uh, in 20, 2005 for uh, women in prison in Herat City and Kandahar. And uh, there was some cases that even um, uh, the family, they lost um, some young women inside of prison. They never know what, what happening for them. So it's coming through different um, even, yeah. Thank you so much. Roya John and Aziz, first of all, welcome to Pittsburgh. I'm really happy to see you again after the fall. And in 20 years that we all worked a lot, really hard in Afghanistan, I was witness for, I mean, you, how you try to work, how you try to change the society, along with you, all of us as well, right? So I'm, I just want to, I mean, know both of your feeling about what happened to our hopes and what happened that we are just end up like this. I just want to know your, I mean, feeling. I'm, I'm not trying to uh, uh, like uh, talk about politics or anything, but I just want to know that what happened to all of our wishes that we had for that uh, country and that society, and we wanted to bring change, what happened to them and what will happen next? Thank you. Um, uh, 
usually I need, I, I really need a, a little break after I watching my movies. <laughs> Um, even I understand, okay, this is not documentary, this is fiction movies, you had team, you had crew, you're writing, you, you build these characters, so, but I don't know, that always have lots of effect to me first. Um, um, Masoud, as you uh, telling me, we all was part of uh, change of the, that society, that what, what happening, and like you built from zero, um, a special, uh, in terms of media, culture, and in the same times, um, honestly, I never understand that what's, what is happening behind of this all um, uh, situation, especially the politics, uh, political situation in Afghanistan. Um, we was during the production of documentary films, Me and Aziz, uh, we following four women who uh, they was a uh, member of peace talks, peace negotiation with Taliban. Uh, we went with these four characters to Doha. Um, we followed them, we, we follow what happening. They, when they talking with Taliban, we um, even we talk with the Taliban. So, uh, and we're just thinking, okay, here is lots of, especially the international community They was in Doha from different country leading with the United States. Um, and also, they of course they pay a lot. Not only financially, they they lose their soldier, a thousand and thousand soldier from Afghanistan, from United States, from different country. Um, and in special, we thinking, okay, we are not alone for women rights and human rights in Afghanistan because there is lots of country. They, when you are talking, they say we, of course, this is the first, the important role for our country that. Um, we should not ignore women rights and human rights, uh, and we support. Uh, always when, when we follow these four characters, especially I'm talking at, about this last two years, they had many meetings with, I don't know, ambassador from different country in Europe, from, um, with the uh, leaders, people in United States. They, they talking, they, they uh, um, advocacy for women rights for that situation to please support us. You, the Taliban, we, we never accept the Taliban came back in power. Um, but we have in the movie also, this movie is during the post-production. Um, I just get a feeling, okay, we are not alone because all of them, they promise this is the first priority for us, women rights. And we record all of them. Um, you know, we need, we need, and we needed still their support, the international community supported because of course, um, we are as a society, as a young generation and in Afghanistan, we just, our fighting was with our pen, with our tooth, with our art, with our speech, with our word. Um, we was not in the um, civil war with Taliban, you know, we, we needed international community support. So then when I came back to Kabul from Doha, I just called with my family, with friends, with my colleagues. Um, don't worry because uh, we're not, not only we are trying, we have support from international community. Um, then uh, before August 21, uh, me and Aziz became in the United States, we had a contract with Seattle Opera to produce an opera. And uh, it was the first day of production, and then I see the news. Oh my God, I, I received 20 uh, call from my sister. And she write, and she put a voice, she called me and crying that Roya, the Taliban took Herat. They, they took first Herat city. I never forgot that moment. And I can't believe, and I cannot believe until now. And it, it was something that you lost yourself. And, uh, um, I still, anything that's coming in front of me, I just thinking it's like, I try to think that it's like a, you, you. Same <laughs> message. I can describe my feeling about, it is not believable still, to Taliban came back after 20 years after, uh, but now when I saw right now this film again after, after two years, so I saw in this film, on that time was the alarm of uh, Taliban and dangers and what happening. 
to a country uh, with lots of uh, problem inside of uh, lives, uh, politics especially, uh, corruption, and everything that it's in this film. So, yeah, we are trying for future. What will happening? It's not clear still. Fantastic. I wanted to uh, ask about patronage for the arts. How did you get support to make the film? Uh, what was the structure? Um, who helped? What organizations or bureaus? How did that happen at that time? And what is left of that now? for those who want to make art in uh, Afghanistan. Uh, OK, let me start from the last part of your question. Um, may, um, many of our artists, they um, not many, some of them, they left the country, especially the famous, the famous faces. Um, but uh, still, there is uh, art, a fine arts faculty. There is a um, cinema department, music department. Of course, they changed the name. They t they close, I think, the music yeah. department. Um, and we are in contact with some young filmmakers. There was a student, and now they want they try to um, make movies. But of course, uh, this is like underground. And um, so the artists who live, they are uh, in different country. Uh, it's very really hard, you know, the, especially in this art field and cinema. Uh, cinema is a teamwork, and uh, also it takes like time that when you go in country and everything is new in the society, and um, they believe you. Um, so during these 20 years, we had um, many young filmmakers. They have lots of, like, special in terms of short movies. They have many achievement, and um, uh, we produce. Of course, many TV shows, uh, um, actors, the, uh, the team, crew, cinematographer, everybody. They most of them they left the country, and many of them in, inside of the country. Uh, of course, they cannot do any. Uh, um, they cannot make movies. Um, there was, I, I think, there was a, a film script with a young uh, student, and uh, so when they want to produce a movie, first they need to. Uh, sent for the government office. And then uh, they told for him that if you, if you can cut the role of this young ladies, then you may, you know, like, like you cut the women from the life, it's possible. It's, it's impossible to make a movie right now in Afghanistan with, with, with Taliban, of course. Um, uh, how, uh, for these movies, we uh, okay production, <laughs> producing movie in Afghanistan. Have another another um, story. Uh, for feature film, always you need to have producer, special. It's made with co-production with different country. And uh, with this film, we try like uh, we was to many um, film market uh, in competition. We try to sent to uh, Locarno film market, uh, Goa, and it was the first, like the 30 best film project uh, in, in Locarno and Goa in different uh, film market. But the problems when the producers, they, they choose a film project, and uh, of course they need to uh, spend their money on that country when they want to be a co-producer. Co co then they start searching about Afghanistan. And uh, I have lots of memories with this film that producer called to me, Roya, everything is fine because we receive, we have a news that there is a bomb attack in Kabul. And um, I, I told for them, no, I'm right now I'm in the shooting. Uh, we have TV series, we are in the shooting. Um, so when they hearing, of course the security was not, uh, wasn't good, but when they hearing any bomb attack or any attack happening, in, and any cities, and they just write for me that it's very dangerous. It's very so. Finally, uh, because of there is no insurance, no security, and they say, okay, we are sorry. So after we we receive many uh, um, awards from the f from film market, and then they stop to produce film inside of Afghanistan, and they was happy to produce to another country, but always I thinking, okay, when I produce this story. 
uh, I don't know, in Marrakesh or some country in uh, Aten to be similar to Afghanistan. Then, if this movie, like, uh, spent, I don't know how many, uh, like, the budget, from low budget, it's go for a huge budget. And then it's become a huge thing for producer to always produce film in Afghanistan. They're thinking if we want to make film in Afghanistan, we should have a huge budget because there is not. And we're just thinking we have film production. We should produce this movie inside of Afghanistan because we're living inside of Afghanistan. Of course, there is the life going on. There is people. Uh, we need to. This, this is our field and this is our, uh, our um, tribune. Then... Um, Finally, we decided to produce with ourselves. The good things that uh, Royal Film House always was co-production with Movie Media Group. This is uh, a film, huge uh, media company in Afghanistan. They had, uh, they have still two, three TV channel, and we produced a TV series for them. And it was a good possibility for us to to spend some part of this money. This because as director, producer, and also he is a writer for two, three season of TV series, maybe 10 um, season TV series, we spent some part of this money for our films. This, this kind of movies was independent. No, um, no, 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 <laughs> yeah. International community, they never, I don't know this was because there was many things that they thinking is the first priority. It was always, I thinking the, um, Education and art is the first priority when we want to bring change. But the international community, they're thinking different. The, the people to, who spend money inside of Afghanistan, they never support art. And the government, of course, government never. So um, we have uh, about, I think, 10 independent movies that we produce. Um, and uh, now for our new next movies, we have uh, co-production from Europe, and we did the shooting in Greece. This is another story. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. And, uh, also, this was the first film after after the Taliban. The first time Taliban came, and after that, 2001, that all uh, all crews from Afghanistan and all equipments and Production, post-production, everything done in Afghanistan. And filmed in Afghanistan. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, with Afghan yeah. crew. Yeah. Mm. So I'm just going to stand up so for you to see me. So hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Sophia, and uh, I really enjoyed the movie. I'm an Afghan myself, and I really, really enjoyed it because it really, truly uh, reflects whatever challenges and problems that we are facing in the country, especially for the uh, woman. So my question is, uh, do you have any upcoming uh, movie uh, for the uh, for the fall, that we, the recent fall of uh, Afghanistan we have? Ever, is, are you going to have anything related to that or no? Because uh, we know that most of us who are here right now, like we were, we had to leave the country after that, and uh, we are all kind of like traumatized with that, um, with the fall and everything. So, do you have any plans for creating a movie or anything related to that? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know, always uh, when I finish one movie, I just thinking the next one. Of course, it was before fall. The next one will be um, like comedi comedian movies. Right? I want, yeah, <laughs> comedy movies. I want to make comedy movies, but we facing with a, with a terrible situation that totally I forgot to what I wanted, really. And then, like, like the story coming to you, you, you don't have, uh, you cannot choose what you want or what, uh, what's your priority or, or even what you, do you wa what you want to do for art, not only tell your stories. So, um, ten, about 10 years ago, I, I met um, a group of women, Afghan women. They work for Afghan women charters. They was a women activists um, uh, in 1998, 1997 in Afghanistan, before war, before Soviet war, before, before civil war. Um, when, I, when we meet these women, uh, I, I just thinking, okay, that 
this struggle was starting much before, of course. When you when you when you read the story in Afghanistan, you never fi uh, find any um, uh, power piece of women in, in history that uh, special about their struggle or. So this woman was in different parties, or oh, oh my God, they have amazing history. And then we start to record their voices, and we're thinking we, we make a, a feature movies, and special because during these 20 years, uh, many people, they thinking after 11 September, when the United States came in Afghanistan, and then the Afghan people, they raised their voice, and they talking about women rights and they talking about human rights and they talking about democracy or I don't know, free freedom speech. Then I just thinking we make this movie to show that our struggle was many starting many years ago and how was Afghanistan during that time? The, pe the people was free, the women had their choice. And so then we work for the script and uh, we send again for film markets. But, now we had a letter to the president, any producer, when they look, okay, you make in Afghanistan? Yes, we make in Afghanistan. It's possible we make in Afghanistan. Then finally we find a producer, uh, she's from Spain, and uh, we did a contract um, with uh, a, Spain, a Spanish producer and with Netherlands co-producer also. The script become uh, the three best film script in Netherlands, the new movie. And then we signed a contract to shoot this movie. Again, I talk with producer. I have the first priority for me to shoot this movie inside of Afghanistan because we have film production. We want to build cinema. We want to uh, give this experience for many people. They are around of us. And, and uh, uh, so then we signed a contract to Royal Film House be a um, co production, co producer of this movie. And then, uh, unfortunately, when um, August 21, Taliban came back in power. And um, I did, 2022, I received a message from my film producer, and she said, Roya, because part of this budget coming from, uh, um, from uh, Spain uh, film market, so, and then now it's not possible we shoot this movie in Afghanistan. And then this is the rule, if we cannot shoot, then this mo money go to the, uh, European movies, uh, and I just tell for her <laughs> that time we ne we didn't had any document, any travel document or uh, anything, and I just tell for her we will shoot this movie in 2022. Let's try our best. Let's find a location to be similar in Afghanistan, and we find a co-production. We talking in, in Tajikistan, so. Then um, some people advise for us Tajikistan because of Ukraine, and now. And this movie is also historical movies and talking about the, the beginning, 1976, yes, the, the beginning of Cold War, beginning of why we are here now. And uh, then uh, we're afraid to maybe this is script going for censorship or something in Tajikistan. Then we find co-production from Greece and we should 22 in, in Greece. So. I just, sorry, I, I explained for you very, very long. I, I want to tell you when we decided to make a movie, it's take five years, seven years, and you try, you struggle for, to find producer, to find the fund for that, um, especially when we start from Kabul. So finally in 20, uh, two years ago, one year ago in Greece, we shoot this movie. And in the same times, this, the, the story was historical, and then we cannot ignore what happening right now in Afghanistan. We bring some change to the story starting from now and then go to the, to the past. And uh, now we are uh, in the last days of post-production for sound post. Um, I hope we have the world premiere in, in mid, uh, mid of this year. Um, and for fall of Kabul, of course, this is a still um, I still like thinking when, uh, of course, it's very important, but this why fall cobbled is very, very important. Uh, this question and answer always, I think, not belong for Afghan people. This responsibility for, for uh, especially for international community and with leading. Uh, I, I don't know how much you know about the peace talk in Afghanistan, about the peace negotiation, United States uh, negotiation with, with Taliban, and then uh, Taliban 
with Afghan government. Um, I don't know how much of this part is interesting for you or if there is any question. Thank you very much for this uh, moving and um, beautiful film. I have a question about an element in the film, which is the, the songs or the chants that appear at different moments, apparently always linked to, the, to female characters and at the ends in the credits. I was wondering if, if you could talk a little bit about uh, those songs, about those chants, and 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 why they seem to uh, uh, to show some semblance of uh, resilience for for these characters. Uh, maybe it's more clear for uh, people who speak Persian, Farsi, this, the, the specific sign in the, in the end of movie, the credit song. Um, so finally, she's as a mother. Uh, th this song is actually when the mothers want to sleep her kids, her babies, they sing this song. And um, uh, I use it inside of prison one time or when that old man died, and then the new baby came back. It's like a chain, you know, like a, like a circle, that how when you live with, inside of society without justice, or this situation is continuing, like this old man, and then another wife, a baby coming. That song for the baby, it's singing for that old man also, and for the new baby. And in the end, the title also. Finally, she 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 struggles. She tries. She tries. She even um, put her life for that young lady that we see in the beginning of the movie. But finally, she just had one question: I want to see my baby. Um, for this script, also we had lots of discussion, me and Aziz, uh, because uh, sometimes we thinking, okay, she's as a power women, she have, she knows what she wants. And then finally she just focus on her kids and then I use this song. I just thinking this should be the reality of, of the life. In the last, last moment that she lose everything, she cannot do anything for, anything for anybody, but her heart just alarm for her to thanking for her life, to thanking for her baby. So this uh, song is, is start from the beginning and I use part of, um, uh, and, and sometimes I thinking that when we, we, when we build as a hero, uh, some characters, um, special inside of this kind of a story who coming from many true events. So, I'm not agreed to build a hero like uh, like um, Bollywood or Hollywood movies that they just do everything in the end. But in our reality, our life, I, I'm talking about the reality. Of course, they are very power movies. They are very good in terms of technique. Everything's there. This just we experience. But in in the reality of our life, this is um, finally with this song. I bring back this this ladies, this characters, and her inside of her, inside of her life also. One last question. Yeah. Um, thank you so much, Roya, for coming here. I've been following your uh, films and your career for about 15 years now, and I, I I've been absolutely, I, I think they're incredible films. I, I was wondering, uh, two questions that I had. I, I, don't, um, I do remember that all of your films have these female characters who are really, really strong and they are fighting against their uh, condition, whatever the social, uh, religious condition there is. Throughout, I mean, there's this theme in all of your films where you have these really, really strong women who are fighting almost by themselves very often. Um, so I, 
if you could talk about have, has the, have your characters evolved from the time, let's say you made the three dots and things like that, your early films to now, how have your the female character, the protagonist changed? That's one question. And the second one was, I was thinking back to, uh, I think it was three dots where you have the woman who was uh, raped by her husband and then subsequently had a child and the, towards the end, the, her house goes up in flames, right? There's a fire yeah. and there's the sense that the child is in the fire or burning and she is leaving along with this caravan of uh, other people. And there's this sense of this woman freeing herself from uh, everything that is holding her down in her society, whereas here you have a woman at the end of her life, uh, everything is gone, but she is there, you know, wanting her child and, and so on, and is unable to escape. Uh, so these two things, you know, they, they, they both talk about, uh, seem to suggest uh, a woman finding a sense of freedom in, in a certain way or standing up for her, uh, for her beliefs. Um, but they are two different endings in many ways. So if you could talk about those, the evolution of your films uh, and the women characters. Thank you. Yes, this is playing the Thor, I think. Three Dots was the first movie that she bring opinion to Iran border. Yeah, the Born was playing the Thor about the Afghan Turkmen. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. Um, uh, honestly, when you watch Simaj's song, it's uh, the new movies. It's totally different than Surayo, but this is a kind of uh, continuity of uh, this all characters from Three Dots, uh, playing the tar, a letter to the president, and then for Simaj's song. Um, I don't know, of course, the first thing is the society and uh, many things, so around of you have effect, it is for sure. Um, I think um, now when I, if I watch from the beginning, from three dots until now, um, it's a kind of, um, it's a kind of change in, uh, in my life have uh, built, continue with, with these characters because uh, uh, in three dots, uh, you, you see the character is more, um, more quiet and uh, um, but she's, of course, she's very active. She's hero. She um, understands what she wants and she try. But she's more uh, silent. And, and sometimes when you're facing with many complicated and tradition society, um, so, um, but you're, especially the main character that she try for uh, equality, uh, Soraya. Or she try for she talking about women rights, about forced marriage, about this all things. But you see, in the same time, she's in the prison with the lady that she came from the village, and she was a educated woman from society. That how the um, the society uh, banned them with like a chain in, in the one point. So for for these characters who coming, um, I, I I do believe you are what you're thinking about this continuity of each, like one after another. Uh, even for the opera, when I talk with, uh, uh, when the, we had world premiere, I talk with uh, Khalid Husseini and I just say, yeah, he coming in during the break and say congratulations, I, I like this. But I just say, uh, let's stay and of course you stand till end of the um, uh, opera. But um, I bring a lot of change from the book, a Thousand Splendid Sun, to, to a stage. If you like it, and then that time we will talk. <laughs> so of course he, he was happy, he was happy, but I just thinking if I direct a Thousand Splendid Sun in 2003, like three dots, maybe I built two, three different character than now. And, uh, and the good things like when uh, Aziz, uh, Right, uh, special for TV series. The main character is women, but we didn't talk to. Okay, let's talk the main. Let's the main character be women for the storyline, and then we see. Okay, the main character is the, the hero is the women, the, <laughs> and you can believe this women than other. And uh, one day, as is told for me, Roya, um, now when I write about any women, I can write very well. 
I can understand, I can feeling, and then man, and it <laughs> it was I was very happy, <laughs> and uh, then of course he explained to, uh, uh, and he said when I meet uh, you, your friend, many women around you. And, and of course, we have lots of even in our uh, in our society in our home, you have like uh, one uh, 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 old lady. So I use very simple word in English, Masood. Sorry, <laughs> old lady like grandmother, grand. So she's the boss of the home. This this all things that gives up for our society. This is because of politics. Um, we have, of course, we have free society, like after the king, even after the king, before the Cold War, the starting before the Soviet War. And then one time, the, there are groups of people during the Civil War, they coming and they asked to cover your head. And then after a few years, the Taliban coming and they asking cover your face. Um, even one time when I, I searching about the this Borga, from where this Borga coming to Afghanistan. And then there was a lot, a lot, a lot of, uh, like all the story that the people now talking about and they record and they put on YouTube. Like uh, maybe it's more than 60 years ago, or especially when the King family, they wanted to go to Bazar or they go to the uh, public um, Hammam, pu public bed, uh, Bathroom. And then they didn't want other people to understand that they are from King family. And then they make very nice things, um, and they cover their faces, especially in the in the summer, to just cover their face for the sun or the stuff. And then they go outside. Of. And then after that, how the politics use this burger. So now this is always like a gift from Taliban from different groups when they come in Afghanistan. But inside of the inside of society, the family, the people, they, they for sure they're ready for changing. Yeah, that's totally different. Okay, thank you so much again. Thank you, Suya. Thank you.